All right, hello, this is week three, math four, getting ready for division. So if you can multiply, then you are ready. Oh, I just did that one. So you can multiply, you can divide. So we're gonna do quizzes one and two. All right, start quiz. And start quiz. <clears throat> Alrighty then, here we go. So we started, we did a multiplication problem like this. Now with division, they give us the total number of dots in one of the you know rows or columns. So if they give us the total number of rows, we can use division to find the total number of columns. Or if they give us the total number of columns, we can use division to find the rows. Okay. So what do I mean? 63 is that there's 63 dots in this picture and there's seven equal rows. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 63 divided by seven gives us the number of columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why is that? because division is the opposite of multiplication. So seven times nine equals 63. Um, it's also true that 63 divided by nine equals seven. So there's like a group of facts, math facts that go together. Nine, and I, please write this down. Nine times seven is 63. 63 divided by seven equals nine and 63 divided by nine equals seven. And also we should write down seven times nine equals 63. So those are related uh, math facts. Okay, <clears throat> so you can figure that one out based on I just, eh, uh, but doesn't count, I, I was not paying attention. Which expression could represent the picture? Okay, so how many groups, equal groups we have? Groups of eight, three groups of eight, right? And so we are, and there's a total of 24, if you count the little mice, ugh. and we're dividing them into three equal groups. And so the answer is eight because each group has eight, but division is taking a total and dividing it into equal groups. So the answer is three, I mean, because we're dividing them into groups of eight. So what? Oh, choose two answers. Okay. Anyway. All right. So let's let's talk about what they said since um <clears throat> yeah. Probably don't believe me anymore. There are 24 mice. We can look at how many equal size groups of mice there are, right? I said that. Number of equal size groups. There are 24 mice divided into three equal groups. Okay, 24 divided into three, eight. Uh, so there's 24 mice total divided into groups of eight mice. And 24 divided into groups of eight is 24 divided by eight. The following expressions could represent the picture. 24 divided by three, because we have the three groups, or 24 divided by eight, because we're dividing them into groups of eight and wondering how many groups we would have. So there you go. Uh, it's okay if we get it wrong, you know, it just leads to a discussion. And that's okay. Which image could represent 27 divided by three? All right, so 27 is the total. So we, we're gonna need the picture with 27 dots in it and divided by three. That means three could be the number of rows or the number of columns. So I see this one has three columns. So it could be this one as long as there's 27 dots. Let's make sure that there's nine rows because I know nine times three is 27, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 
10 rows, not gonna work. Here we have three rows, so that works as long as there is uh, nine columns, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know it's this one, there's nine columns and three rows works out. <clears throat> Which image could represent 36 divided by six? Uh, let's try to figure that one out. It's not that one though. All right, that's division quiz two. Let's do it. Ooh, I like this, simple stuff. So 30 divided by five is, you can ask yourself, Five times what is 30? Or you can ask yourself, if I divided 30 into five equal groups, how many units would be in each group? How many things would be in each group? The answer is six, because five times six is 30. Uh, blank divided by five equals eight. So guess what we can do? Five times eight, 40. We get, and then 40 divided by five is eight. Yep, isn't that nice? All right, so know your fact families. You said that already in the assignment. Okay, so you can do this one. Uh, you can do that one. It's not one, but you can do that one. All right, so getting ready for division. You got this and division is so important. It's so important, so get ready for it. 